is Jeremiah. What's your name? Just your name. Well, it's very nice to meet you. And what? Uh, uh, can you can you can you look at me? Can you look at me? Okay, okay. Take a breath. Look at me. Focus. Okay, and let's take a let's take a calming breath together, shall we? Anxiety around coming to hospitals. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Do you mind if I, um... <clears throat> I wanna do a very, uh... Kind of a basic checkup. And then I wanna try something that's a little... A little avant-garde. Okay? Okay, so... Look, look at me. Look at me. Uh... I was about to ask, do you trust me? Well, do you trust me? <laughs> okay. Now, join me on this little journey. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so. First off, I always want to listen to your heart and make sure that there's nothing there that is abnormal. Okay. Okay, so you're going to feel, do I have permission to touch you? Thank you. Okay, so you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel this. You don't have to no, leave your shirt the way it is. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to do anything. You just sit right there, and to the best of your ability, relax, breathe. Okay, now just breathe normal. All right, and. a little elevated, but <clears throat> I think that's the anxiety, right? Um, okay. So I'm going to put on some gloves, all right? And a dear uh, friend of mine, um, she's the therapist, and she was telling me about what she does, which is something called a uh, cranial sacral therapy. And basically, I'm going to, I'm not a cranial sacral therapist, um, but I found what she did to be profoundly relaxing. And there was something about her touch, which I, was just insanely calming to me, you know, um, at a deep, deep level. And I wonder if I can bring a little bit of that for you right now, just to put us in a better, calmer, relaxed headspace. Okay? Okay. So, if you would like, you can close your eyes. Leave your eyes open, it's up to you. And I'm going to be touching, like, your ears and your, uh, the side of your face and your cheeks a little bit here, okay? Okay? All right. Do you trust me? Okay. So, just bring your focus to me, okay? I'm going to bring my hands up by your ears and just listen. It's a very broad um, 
place my hands on the side of your face. And I just want you to be, just notice the sensation of my, of my hands here, okay? Just notice the sensation. Mm -hmm. Describe how my hands feel. your jaw for me. There we go. And relax this, this area right here. Just go ahead and relax that right there. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to place my hands on your ears here, okay? So just notice my hands on your ears. I'm going to gently, gently massage and stretch out your ears. Just gently massaging the earlobe. I personally find these ear massages to be profoundly relaxing. a little bit on the ear. Yeah, okay. Okay, now go ahead and lean your head into my hand a little bit. You just lean. There we go. Just lean your head right. Just rest. I'm going to take my other hand. I'm going to place it just above your other ear here. And just relax right there. calming breath. Okay, good. We'll just stay here for a moment. Okay. Now, go ahead and gently turn your hand into my other hand. Tilt your head to your right and just rest your head here in my hand. And now we'll do the same for your other ear, okay? Just gently give it a little stretch. Gently. Go ahead and give me a nice, a nice calming breath, okay? Everything's going to be okay. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and check in with your body here, okay? I can already tell that you look, you seem calmer. Do you feel calmer? Wonderful. gentle massage stretch. I'm going to place my hands here, okay? And I'm just going to gently lift up on the, on, on the, on your head very, very gently. And just notice the sensation there, okay? So go ahead and just relax the neck. Relax. Give me a little wobble. Okay. And I'm just going to gently Gently pull up. Think of, think of a string gently lifting the back of your head. We're just, we're just seeing if we can focus on our alignment a little bit and get our, get our spine and our neck in alignment. So just, just relax. Let's give your head another little wobble. Just 
has a nice little, little shake, okay, just a little shake, gentle, and then up, breathe, and down, okay, I'm going to place my hands on your shoulders, just give you a little shoulder rub here, okay, that I want to start replacing any negative memory you may have of a hospital visit, which I'm sure you have, and I'm sorry, but I want to start slowly replacing those memories with positive experiences, yeah, and, you know, when I see a patient like you my heart goes out it's because I understand it's okay it's okay and I'm seeing more and more um, patients come in where it's hard to pinpoint a, a specific um, problem but there's an overarching um, malaise there's a, there's a depression, there's anxiety, stress, and what all of these things cause are disease. Those, look at the word disease. It's dis-ease, right? So there's conflict, there's turmoil, there's dis-ease. And stress, I'm not sure, I'm not even sure you're aware causes our bodies a tremendous amount of um, pressure, okay? When we're feeling stress and anxiety, uh, our immune system is not, as, is not nearly as effective because our body is, is kind of going into like a fight or flight uh, state of fear and trepidation. Your heart rate increases. Uh, your your vision may shrink a little bit, right? Yeah, um, it can lead to a host of ailments. Okay, and I understand. So one of the things, like I said, what we're trying to do is just replace the negativity in the past with positivity moving forward. Otis 
microscope, I'm going to take a little look at your eyes and your nose and your ears. Is that okay? Okay, good. So, <clears throat> it's a pretty dim light. Okay, but I still want to take a look here. So just look right at me. Just look right at me, okay? Thank you. And you're going to see a very light, subtle little flash here as I come across. Okay. Good. And just can you keep looking right at me? Thank you. Okay. Okay, good. Now can you open your mouth and go, ah, for me? Just like that. Nice big, nice big. this direction. Let me look in your uh, your left ear. Okay. Thank you. Just turn your head. And, okay. Oh, that perfect. Okay, so now, can you turn your head to your left? Yeah, and then look in your right ear. Okay. So just look to your left. I'm going to whisper something into your ears, and I would like you to repeat it back to me, okay? Okay, here we go. I am powerful, strong, and deeply loved. you are and you are okay let me try the other ear all right I deserve love and affection and all the goodness the world has to offer So, my diagnosis for today is fear, anxiety, stress, yeah, and you're going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Are you able to exercise? tell you what. I would like to see you in about two weeks. Yeah. Okay, I would like to see you in two weeks. And here's my homework. Um, will you commit to taking a walk for at least 20 minutes? Five times per week? No, you can't take five walks in one day. It's every day. It's at least, ideally, seven days a week. But can you can you commit to taking a 20-minute walk at least five times per week over the next two weeks? Okay. Thank you very much. And can I also request that you drink more water? For me, I find walking to be 
be very cathartic and uh, stress relieving. And I have a strong suspicion that all of these, um, all of your symptoms are manifesting from a similar, uh, similar place. And I, I don't necessarily think prescribing you a medication is the answer right now, okay? I think that you are the answer. Yeah. Your amazing ability to heal yourself through positivity, diet, and exercise, okay? If you need me, don't hesitate to give me a call. sleep.